Starman Podcast. Hello and welcome to another Starman Debates. I am your host, Devin. With me is Cody and Billy. Hey, everybody. Woo! Again, David couldn't be with us. We're sorry for that. So, guys, let's go around the room real quick. What are we all doing? Dimbleweed Park. Still Monkey Island as well. I'm yeah, just still run through... Uh, the showcase three years of WrestleMania showcase mode. Okay. And 2K14. And I'm still on Pokemon Moon, so. Same old, same old. Same old, same old. So, guys, we did a topic a little while ago about uh, things that bugged us in video games. And I don't like to do things negatively and without a positive, so this episode's gonna be things that we enjoy in games. And this could be anything from certain features that are in yeah. a game, uh, just get a game in general, yeah. or... Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll throw this out, like, now for the re games now, the last two years now, I love the Royal Rumble matches in them. Yeah? Because they feel like an actual Rumble match. Mm. Well, that's good. Because, uh, you can even custom an actual set of the intervals. Like, instead of, like... The match starting with the old games, and within like 15, 30 seconds, someone's gonna come down. You can edit it where, yeah, you can have them come in every two minutes. Nice. Like, that's pretty cool. And you can, like, like get them down, like, weak enough, and you can, like, I strip them in the ropes and go flying mm-hmm. over to the outside. Or, what I discovered, um, you can look like you're gonna close on them with the top rope, they can reverse it, and send you flying over mm-hmm. to the floor. Nice. So, yeah, way better mechanics and feels like an actual match. Yeah. Me, personally, I'm always a sucker for games that have good character customization. Yeah. Where you can create, really create your own character. Yeah. I might spend hours just creating a character before I even play a game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm kind of the same character customization but I also like it if you can create a custom background like write a custom background for your character okay yeah that's more of an RPG style yeah. but yeah he's like background I'm like hmm? yeah no not like a background backdrop it's oh I know write your character's story okay backstory yeah, yeah. yeah. that's Okay, yeah, backstory. It's a background, and like it's <laughs> that could be also in a wrestling game if you had to create a wrestler. Yeah, and you could do like their backstory. Yeah, like, this guy trained under Shawn Michaels for yeah. years before entering the WWE. Yeah. I I I like games that. You know, stuff like GTA that lets you get drunk in the game. Yeah, it's a nice little mechanic. I love when it actually is a mechanic and it's yeah. fun to use. Grand Theft Auto 4. It's like, just go out with the girlfriend, get wasted, and then drive her home. Yep. Cop sees me. <laughs> And like drive all the way to her home with her screaming in this in the seat. Yeah. No. yeah. Uh, well, I say drive, but I I use the term drive loosely. Yep. Because <laughs> I think once I actually sent her flying through the windshield. Whoop. <laughs> I'm like, oh no. Damn, you just got bored of her, so just. Yeah. What, you want gonna... dinner and a movie? Huh? <laughs> you want dinner and a movie? <laughs> <laughs> then they was like, oh crap, a guy in the car took off running. Um, I like fighting games that actually have a decent story for single player. So it doesn't feel like... You bought this game in hopes that you have friends that want to play it with you. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, didn't enjoy the story? There's still multiplayer! Yeah. 
Yeah, I know. I know it's a fighting game, and that's its primary purpose is for yeah. more, more than one player <laughs> to join. But I do like to sit down and play by myself. Oh yeah. yeah. What I, I what I'd like to see is a fighter with you know multiple endings instead of one. That's kind of I understand what you yeah. mean, and it's kind of harder to do. Yeah, than I do. Like, um, your best bet is arcade mode, where the arcade mode shows a yeah. single player story. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it's more tailored towards what would happen if this character was kind of the main yeah. focus of our game. Tekken Tag Tournament Two did kind of did that. Most. Oh yeah. Uh, fighting games do that with the ar- arcade. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna throw out a Dragon Ball game, but I love Dragon Ball games with the what if scenarios. And this, I think this might be in other games, but I know Dragon Ball does it the most. And this is like, what if this other character was actually yeah. the main character, yeah. oh, yeah, or well, what if this happened instead? Well, I can give a good example. Um, Legends of WrestleMania. There's another part of the mode where we it's called rewind and we write. Okay. Um, okay, I'll give you this scenario. Uh, when the matches that you guys can rewrite, it was uh, Mr. Perfect versus Big Boss Man for the IC title at WrestleMania 7. Mr. Right. Perfect was the IC champion. In the game, he plays the Boss Man, so you beat him, but it's also a ladder match. Okay. Yeah, that's sort of on the same lines. Yeah. It's just kind of more single down to a single event though. Oh yeah, I but the Yeah, I see what yeah, like it's like what happens is like Like what if I'm gonna use Dragon Ball as an example because yeah. what if Goku died instead of Vegeta on Namek? Yeah. And then the story plays out as your Vegeta, yeah, and you play from the Frieza saga into the, the end of the Boo saga. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, it's actually in games. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool when games do that. Yeah, because it's like, um, especially for games that are like based off of like a show or something. Yeah, because you've seen the show, you know how the events go. Yeah. That's cool, it's in the game, but I would like to see a what if scenario if what if this happened instead. Yeah. Um, it makes me more want to get the game because I was like, I want to see how that plays out. Yeah. Wow. Well, nothing I own sports games I'm realize I'm like now is inclusion of like legends. Like uh in baseball games, like, yeah. like I have to touch one thing that annoyed me. I forgot to mention the last discussion on this. Okay. But it was like, like, um, to unlock, the way they like, had on, like, ridiculous ways to unlock characters. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't touch on that. I wanted to, but. Yeah, I we might, this, but, this might be a comeback scenario. Oh yeah. where. But, no, like, uh, now for, like, sports games, they, they have, like, Legend scenes. Yeah. Because uh, I know in hockey you can have like the all star alumni and like different teams. Like there's one one where they have like uh, Patrick Roy as the goalie and you have Luis Richard as center. <laughs> and now for the upcoming baseball game, it's greatest moments mode. <laughs> where you can recreate great moments in baseball history. And I think now there's going to be easier ways to unlock to get the legends. I'm like, good. <laughs> nice. Because I'm... Because that, that's the one I like about sports game playing, like, the alumni against, like, the current guys. So you... I'm like, mm-hmm. who would win? Like, mm-hmm. best one for wrestling. Big Show versus Andre the Giant. Yeah. <laughs> who would actually win in that fight? Well, yeah. There you go. Play it in and see for yourself. Um. Yeah. 
Um, for Grand Theft Auto V, I like the driving. Yeah, they really improved the driving on that game. Hmm. Bravo. Oh, it looks like somebody popped my shoulder back in. Nice. Oh, there we go. Now, one game that did something pretty cool was Watch Dogs, yeah. where you could take your phone and hack things. Yeah, that was also put in, like, Grand Theft Auto 4, also in 5, also was in... It? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can use your phone to access the cheat menu. And then you can save cheats into your phone. Oh no, I meant like hack traffic lights. Oh, okay. Traffic lights, um, those uh, barricades. Yeah. Yeah, I know what Cody's going. Yeah, I never played Watch Dogs. No, basically, if you like, um, uh, the cops are chasing you, yeah, you can switch the lights like, um, well, example, because you've seen the RoboCop movies. Yeah. RoboCop 3, when they flip the traffic lights and cause the collision with the cops. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and or raise a bridge is their case and yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can do the blues for the blues brothers. <laughs> <laughs> so I kinda like that mechanic. Game. Yeah, I heard the game wasn't as great as people liked. No, I mean I mean, as long as they had some cool mechanics. Yeah. Yeah. It, it kind of got boring. Yeah. Yeah. Second, I've heard a lot of good things about the second one. Oh, second one was really good. The... I mean, the first one is a mission, the second one we gotta get in Alcatraz Island. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of other games. Yeah. Um, so I love my Metroidvanias. I love if it's um, not complex, but still not like a no-brainer game. Mm. Where you have to put a little bit of thought into you, where you're going, what you're doing next. Yeah. Um, I find good ones for those, uh, for doing that, are a lot of point-and-click adventure games. Yeah. yeah, I love point and click adventure games when there's not a ton of moon logic. Moon now, logic. Moon logic is a term used for um, you would never in your life think to do this. It was just oh. a matter of trial and error. It eventually, got you this solution. Okay. Um. Trying to think of like specific examples, but none are coming to mind. But it'd be the same thing as you have a random banana in your inventory, and you would use it to uh, you peel the banana. And there's a key inside it. Okay. Like, okay. You would never think there'd be a key in a banana, but yeah. Okay, yeah. I I guess the banana should be enough. It, yeah, it's stuff like that where he's like, how would I know that was there? Yeah. Unless I either played the game, looked it up online, or just through random trial and error, eventually yeah. I found it. Yeah. And your cat's like hung from the banana. I was like, no one? Why do you think the cat would be hungry? She opened up the banana. Yeah. <laughs> um, actually, one that comes to mind now in my head is uh, one of the King's Quests. You get a uh, pie. And... When you go through the game, you can come up to this yeti and you have to throw something at the yeti to uh, make it fall off a cliff. Mm. And you can throw the pie at it. However, if you throw the pie at it, there's a scene later where you need to feed someone the pie. Oh. And you screw yourself over and you have to actually restart. Interesting. Yeah. And you're like, how was I supposed to know the pie was for this guy and not thrown at the yeti? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> yeah? I mean, you gotta figure the Yeti out. How are you gonna distract him? 
Here, have some pie. Yeah, it's like, I have a pie. I'm going to throw my pie at Yeti. You know, yeah. the comedy slapstick yeah, I know, right? solution. Then it's, then it's like, oh, you need that pie to feed him. So yeah, that's moon logic <laughs> yeah. in a nutshell. Mm. But, yeah. I don't know if I've ever come across that. Um, you're playing Monkey Island right now. You might come across that in a bit, but... I'm on the actual island right now. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't think it was as common as Monkey Island. Like, Monkey Island's really good for not doing that, yeah. in my mind. Just going back to the Metroidvania and the progress and that, because usually progress is locked by abilities. So you're like, oh, I can't get up to that ledge. Eventually, I'm probably going to get a double jump that's going to let me get up there. Okay. And then you're probably going to surprise with, no, there's no double jump in this. You can wall crawl or something else. It's like, oh, that's a new mechanic that you don't see often. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Also, games that have a good checkpoint system. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you died. Don't worry. You only, your respawn point was the cliff you just fell off of. Yeah. Try that jump again, <laughs> soldier. <laughs> <laughs> like, there, there was one game I was playing, and it said, This means you're auto saving. Don't turn off your system. Yeah. So. Like, I got, like, maybe an hour further than that. Turn off the system after it had done save, the saving. Yeah. Um, click continue. Hour of progress gone because the checkpoint system was garbage. Yeah. You just save that for the other. Yes. Yeah, you should have saved that for the other. Right. We're trying to stay positive here, Cody. Yeah. I know that's really hard for you. Yeah. <laughs> Working on it. Um, I had one game it was, I can't remember it but there was a jump and there's a save point before the jump and I couldn't make the jump for the life of me so I was like I'm just going to reload the save, come back to it I reload the save point and it put me past the jump you take it I was like I don't know why I it counts me over across the thing but I'm going to take it <laughs> um I love games that give you dialogue options. Yeah, like you can actually kind of choose and pick your own yeah. kind of adventure. It's yeah. The illusion of choice some games have. Yeah. Um, there's lots of few games like that, obviously, apparently. Yeah. What I enjoyed playing that did that a lot was Mass Effect. Yeah. That's a very good example of that, yeah. where it actually did matter what you said. Yeah. But there's a lot of games where, but thou must is the response. This is back in the older ones, like, uh, you're the chosen hero, will you go and save the world? And you can nope. say yes or no, but when you say no, it's like, but thou must. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, I don't wanna. Thou must, thou must. Yeah. But yeah, I do agree with Cody. The dialogue choices and where you can actually feel like you're being yourself or you're playing your yeah. like the role of the character better. Yeah. It's like if I want to play a jerk character, I want some jerk options that yeah, actually you... make me look like a jerk. <laughs> um, one playthrough of Mass Effect I was doing, there's this one guy and it's like he's flipping out. And one person's like, I oh, don't mind him. And then the, they tell him to pipe down. I'm like, I could shut him up and punch him right at knock him out. Nice. It's like, <laughs> this person's like, how could you? It was quite easy. 
See this? I used this and hit his face. I was a jerk in that game. Yeah, but like, if that's how you want to play it, yeah. props to the game for letting you do that. Yeah. And I also like games that let your decisions matter as well. Yeah. Well, that goes with the, um, what I was saying, the illusion yeah. of choice and the yeah. actual, your choice does make a difference. Uh, one I noticed was one other replay like that was Heavy Rain. To some extent. Yeah. Yeah, like. There were dialogue trees, but there were set endings. Yeah. I just mean, like, if you make a bad decision, I mean, might die. Yeah, that, that's kind of the nature of the game there. But I'm not discrediting it. It's still a good game. It's no. just... Um, it's not as free choice as you'd think right. it is. No. Now, one... It's still the yes yeah. or no, but your no might mean character death. Yeah. yeah. One, one, I noticed that there were a lot of consequences if you do different things, was Life is Strange. Yeah. Like, I did one thing in one episode... And, like, three episodes later, it came back and bit me in the ass. Okay. I'm like, wow. That happened three episodes ago. Jeez, you know how to hold a grudge. What are you, Devin? Thanks for throwing me underneath the bus, Cody. I'm going to be docking your pay later. And when we got the air... <laughs> <laughs> So, Billy, we're going into the wrestling because you haven't talked for a while. <laughs> um, I know I love a career mode in wrestling games. Yeah. Is that something you share? Or? Um, now they've, like, like starting with WWE 2K15, they started doing the My Career Mode. Yeah. First one, I didn't mind, but the the, the other one. Like 2016, 17, didn't care for. 2018 was a little better because um, it was like almost kind of the first few years all already mapped out. Ah, uh, okay. But but the only reason why like, the other ones like bugged the hell out of me because ranking system. Ah. Uh. But uh, then then the last one was just it's the career mode. I've been wanting them to do for years. You started, you create the wrestler, you start out on the indies. Okay. And then you work your way into the yeah. major league. Yeah. Okay. Which is kind of cool. That is kind of cool. I would like that too. Yeah. I know, um, Fight Night, I like that career mode because you went from like, the lowest ranked fighter yeah. and you worked your way up to the mate or. To the heavy league. Yeah, I know. I think one of the games it was I actually skipped the developmental league because I was able to cut a good promo. Yeah. I'm like, oh, you don't need to go to NXT. You can go right to the main roster. Nice. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, so blue mode and. And the modes I liked the last few years they were doing it where it was like the showcase modes where you can recreate matches from the past. Yeah. Like one I know you would like would be the Attitude Era. Yeah. Because there was, because there was an Undertaker mode and Mankind mode and all that. Okay. Like you have to recreate the Hell in a Cell match. Ah, uh, okay. I need a Burial match. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, like some of those ones were just pretty cool. Like, bring back memories. Yeah. So, I'm going to further say if there's a question because I'm just kind of concerned. When it says recreate the match, do you have to do it exactly how the match played out? Um. For example, in an elimination match, um, I 
just gonna throw random wrestlers like Edge, yeah, Shawn Michaels, Stone Cold Steve Austin, the, like and Kane. They have to be eliminated in the order. In they the were. order, they were. Early no, um, I, I'm. I don't think. Because that would actually annoy the hell out of me if yeah. it was, had to be in the exact order. No, because um, because uh, one of the ones was I think the Stone Cold, uh, showcase mode. Was he had to have him win the Rumble, and the first time I did it, I eliminated The Rock, was the first guy I eliminated. Yeah. And it was so fine, like, oh, okay, good. Because <laughs> that was the last. Well, that'd be really annoying and hard to do if it was yeah. the Royal Rumble and you had to eliminate everyone in the order they were eliminated yeah. in the Rumble. But a lot of the times when they do, like, those elimination matches, you get to a certain thing, then there's a cutscene. Yeah. So. Or. I guess the other example would be, um, it's a match between like two wrestlers, and it was won by submission. So you have to win by submission in yeah. the recreate. Yeah, that would also annoy me. Yeah, because yes, I like recreating matches, but I more like doing it my way. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, no, I... So, I think we're on different sides of that coin. Yeah, no. Yeah, you like doing it your way. I like... Recreating it the way it was do yeah. originally done. Agree to disagree. Yes. <laughs> uh, before we end the episode, anything else you guys want to throw out there for things you like in a game? Um... I like games where they let you actually visit a, your house, or give you a house. Or a base of operations yeah. or something, yeah. yeah. Where you can pl kind of play like a real life, like this is this character's real life. Uh, Skyrim does that well, where you can actually get a house, a family going. Yeah. It makes there's no real reason to do this. It's just if you really want to role play it out. <laughs> yeah, this is the options there. Yeah, the options there. You don't have to do it. You can do it if you want. <laughs> What's hilarious? Skyrim got one of the kids. Two kids gave one of them a knife. They go to the basement. I'm like, what you doing? Start stabbing a dummy, and I'm like. Oh, I, I made mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Your parenting I, skills was, are concerning. I, I, I was like, S uh, don't kill your brother. <laughs> I mean, that's... Well, I was just joking. We went down the basement. Both of them went down the basement and one kid came up. Yes. I want to level up you. I can only afford to raise one of you. So, we're going to have tryouts. Promise of the night goes in, damn it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you know, I do like where I can pretend to have like a real, make it more realistic than it yeah. needs to be. Because I like the eating and mechanic in Skyrim or... There's food. It doesn't really do much. It heals you a little bit. Yeah. But I always like to play that, like, you have to eat during the day. Kind of. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Th there are... Yeah. yeah. Which funny with... One game, Fallout New Vegas. They made it so you could do that. Okay. Where you have to eat... When you're hungry, Dr have to drink. Okay, you're saying the word have to. This, no, this, you have to. Yeah, that's a mechanic that yeah. actually not everyone would enjoy. Oh, oh, no, it's. I guess it's a matter of personal taste. Yeah. See, I like it when it's not forced. Yeah. It's just something I can do on my own. Oh, yeah. But Same here. I don't have to actually eat. I'm going to pretend I have to, but... Yeah. Um, 
Bill, any last words before we end this on things you like? No, I can look, like that. I can look over all the things. I'm going to throw this one out there. I like when the game's unlockables are through uh, in-game money purchases and not through uh, progression or certain do certain achievements to get it. I'm opposite. Some, some. Okay. One of those, like, for WWE games, I'd say there's, like, things, like, uh, for me, like, it's the in-game currency with WWE games. Half, half in locals are for, um, like, in-game currency, and the other half through the career mode. Okay. And I, well, from back, I forgot to... <laughs> about the showcase one unlockables and I just got the accelerator and I unlocked everything then I'm like oh right so then there's no point in me playing the showcase mode okay I can see why in that case because um the unlockable is kind of a incentive to keep playing the mode yeah for me, if it's not part of the incentive to play the mode, I would like to be able to purchase it at a time. I don't mind grinding for money to yeah. get something. Yeah. I don't like the idea of, oh, you can only unlock this if you get a perfect rank in the, these three missions. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was like, and it's just, it's a cosmetic thing. It's not anything that changes anything in the game. Yeah. It's like, I'm going to throw a wrestling example out there. You have to win a match in under three minutes by submission. And you can unlock your character looking like they have the heavyweight title. Yeah. It's like, it's a cosmetic. Mm -hmm. They come to the ring with it. But in game, it doesn't do anything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Once again, you just... I agree to your disagree. Yeah. I actually kind of agree with your opinion. I don't, wouldn't like it if it's like, uh, if you unlock this, there's certainly no reason to play this mode because yeah. this mode was all about unlocking all this. Yeah, because I kind of got because the last... So two... I guess the compromise would be it's there to purchase if you're struggling with that mode. Yeah. But it's easier if you went for the mode and just unlocked it yourself. Yeah. It'd save you time in the long run. Yeah, because all I did was just Bet the crew mode. Then I did the unlock, unlock everything else. Yeah, there we go. Because because all oh, the unlockables are the legends and the classic arenas, and I don't like grinding for that because that's only reason I like the game. Yeah. So that's fair. So that's what I mean yeah. in that it's easier if. Um, you do the mode and unlock them. But my thing is be if I'm struggling to unlock, say, Hulk Hogan yeah. because he's part of this uh, showcase mode where I can't just do it. I don't know yeah. how to win the match. Yeah. Um, but he's like, oh, you could also just purchase him for 10000 Yeah. whatever the currency is. Wrestling bucks. Yeah. Vince McMahon dollars. <laughs> yeah, well, I... So I'd be like, I'm more inclined now to go and just grind ten thousand dollars and unlock them. Yeah, because I can't do that. Yeah, no fair. Yeah. So I guess the overall, I, what I like is if it gives you the option of either do this to unlock mm-hmm. them or oh. do this other thing to unlock them. Okay. Yeah. And with that, that's our time. So, thank you all for listening. This has been a Starman Debates. Hope we uh, channel some fond memories of games you like to play and things you enjoyed in them. Uh, as always, I'm your host, Devin. Hey, have a great night, guys. <laughs> Billy, dig it. Have a good one.